Now we will investigate the evaluation card that is provided for the NetX90. This is the NXHX90-JTAG. It has several uses. First of all, as a reference design. This is an example implementation that you can copy over to your own use. Uh, for a schematic design, it's good as it is. However, someone using uh, or wanting to lay out this board needs to be aware of any temperature and EMC uh, environment considerations that they might need for their own board. Secondly, the, a reference board can be used as an external host to try out companion mode use cases. Uh, headers are provided to extend the dual port memory bus to an outside uh, computer. And, and finally, it can be used as a software development platform. It has an onboard debugger coupled with NetX Studio, the integrated development environment that we've mentioned previously, and all of the tools that you need to su support the composition and debugging of your application code. The evaluation card is well documented in the NXHX90 JTAG uh, user manual. Let's briefly look over some of the interfaces that are available to you. The first interface we're going to talk about is a communication interface that made, is made available for field bus protocols. By field bus protocols, I mean um, protocols that do not use an Ethernet media. For instance, DeviceNet can Profibus, Serial, all of those protocols can be supported on this, on this particular header uh, using extension boards uh, that are provided by Hilsher. This next uh, connection is where the dual port memory can be extended off the uh, evaluation card so that it can be connected to uh, say the evaluation card of your local microprocessor or uh, another computer or something that you you want to connect as a host to this part and this is where you can connect make that connection to the outside world and extend the dual port memory outside this is what's needed for the use case uh, that were called companionship modes this next header is for an RS-232 uh, port again we have accessory cards that will fit on that header and will make available a full RS-232 implementation. Likewise, we have another board that will do an encoder, uh, a specific uh, implementation just for encoder options. Analog to digital interfaces for the next 90 are available here. Debug uh, has both an onboard debugger with a USB port as well as a full JTAG connector. We also make available certain IOs that you can use for your own experimentation, uh, four dip switch and four LEDs that can be driven from the uh, general purpose digital IOs on the NetX90. And finally, we have the host interface. The host interface uh, is a standard uh, Hilscher uh, interface that it makes available several uh, accessories like external SDRAM, uh, and also an extension to a PCI bus so that you can use a Windows-based machine with a PCI card as an interface to um, develop software on this particular part. Here we are to describe uh, some of these peripherals that I've mentioned in the previous screen. The communications bus, external bus here, uh, has these particular modules. As we mentioned, these are all uh, protocols that do not use Ethernet as their media. Uh, Profibus, CanOpen, DeviceNet, and CCLink, all uh, accessories that will connect on that header. And for the host interface, we have several devices uh, that are avail made available. Uh, this device will make available the um, dual port memory on a SPI bus as well as external SDRAM. This device here, the NXPCA PCI, is the parallel dual port memory interface to a PC, as I mentioned before. It uses a um, ribbon cable to connect uh, from your PC to uh, this particular board and allows you to use the PC for development. And then finally, the, the interfaces that we mentioned before for RS-232 and for the encoder are made available as the NXHX-RS-232 
or nxhx-enc.